Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. For today, I want to talk a little bit about what we saw at the battery cathode plant a couple of days ago on the 27th of January. Specifically, as you can see in these two images, some equipment that's being installed in that large bay. And here's a close up with the box around it showing you this large device and another close up to give you an idea of just how it uh, appears and as they were getting ready to install it into this part of the factory. Now also up to the north there is a second component it's wrapped in this white wrapping and this is where that piece that we saw being installed came from. And here's a good close-up of this section. You can see that wood shoring gives you an idea about how heavy these items are. And by reading the label on that white packaging, we see this is SACME. So I thought we would do a little bit of discussion about what this company provides and maybe figure out some clues about what we're seeing installed at the battery cathode plant. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. So as we discussed in the teaser at the intro, the company that provides this equipment is called SACME and they've been in business since 1919. And what they are installing are a series 2000 presses into this portion of the battery cathode plant. And now at the bottom of the screen, you can see some links. There's a lot of information and some catalogs that provide you much more detail than I will go into into this particular discussion. And the links to that will be also in the video description if you would like to uh, learn more. Now, as you can see here, SACME is composed of a worldwide network of over 80 companies and in over 30 countries around the world as indicated. And they provide quite a bit of different specialties as you can see by this image. And they're most noted for their ceramics. However, as you can see by this arrow, they have advanced materials with uh, batteries, and that is what is playing a significant role in the battery cathode plant here at Giga Texas. Now with this inset image, and this is from the catalog uh, for the 2000 series, this gives you an idea of how this equipment looks and generally how it is configured. As mentioned, I would take a look at the catalog at the link at the bottom of the screen or in the video description for more in-depth information. So let's talk a little bit about how they install this piece of equipment. These are some examples that I got and you can take a look at the video with the source link at the top of the screen. Uh, but this is an example of a very similar press being installed in a different factory. And with these images, it gives you a good idea of the installation that is also going on here at Giga Texas. Now, each of these presses weighs about 166,000 pounds or about 75,300 kilograms. And they're installed into these pits into the ground. And we've seen very similar pits just like this in that section of the battery cathode plant being constructed. Now, as you can see by this scale image, the gentleman on the left is about six feet tall, about 1.8 meters tall. And then the entire press is about 21 and a half feet tall or six and a half meters tall from the base all the way to the top. And some of this is into that pit. So it just gives you a good idea of the overall scale. Also talking to some of the crew that are working on the battery cathode plant and installing these pieces of equipment, both of these have now been installed into the battery cathode plant as of this recording. And finally, I'm not sure exactly what the purpose of these particular presses are, but I also was able to find out some additional information about SACME and one of its subsidiaries that may provide additional clues. This company, Riedhammer, is a German company and it's part of the larger SACME consortium of companies. And the interesting thing is, is that they have some extensive background in thermal processes for lithium battery industry. And they also offer customizable high quality equipment and solutions for producing and uh, refining some of the lithium ion battery materials. They make large roller and rotary kilns, which are basically big furnaces that allow precursor synthesis and active material synthesis of the various components that go into lithium hydroxide, 
lithium itself and cathode manufacturing. And this is part of the refining of the basic materials that we expect to see here at the cathode plant at Giga Texas. So this is something that uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for to see if we see deliveries with this company's name. We may actually have already seen some of this delivery already. So here's a little bit more additional information about the type of kilns that Reedhammer provides. And this is an important part of the processing for the lithium hydroxide and other materials necessary for the battery cathode. And this is an example of a roller hearth kiln, and you can kind of get an idea by its diagram how this would look and how it would appear once it's assembled. And this does a lot of high oxygen atmospheric, inert gas atmosphere, and special atmospheric gases as part of the heating process for the materials. Similarly, they also offer these rotary kilns, and these rotary kilns are high output capacity with excellent heat transfer and short cycle times, and they have adjustable tilt and rotation speeds. Now you would use this for different properties of the material and requirements to do the processing. Uh, it also has high oxygen atmosphere, inert gas atmospheres, and special atmosphere capabilities and the length of this is also pretty long which kind of goes along with that discussion about how the battery cathode plant itself is constructed. Now I don't know for sure whether they are going to be using roller hearth kilns or rotary kilns but it's very interesting that SACME has a company Reed Hummer that provides this and we should see some of this being delivered and installed in the very near future. In fact we may have already seen some of these components delivered with some of those white and red platform we see right on the east side of the battery cathode plant. And here's just a little bit more information is that they have more than 250 of these battery kilns successfully built and in operation worldwide. There's 100 kilns for high O2 operation. There's 130 kilns in Asia, including China, South Korea, also here in North America and in Europe and they supply some of the biggest and key players in the battery industry. So there you have it, a pretty brief overview and discussion about some of the equipment and deliveries that we're seeing going on here at the battery cathode plant at Giga Texas. And with the images here, you can just get an idea of what we've seen on site. We can see that there's the SACME company that's providing verifiable these uh, series 2000 presses and the installation and then also related company this reed hummer that provides some very interesting kilns that are critical for the processing of lithium hydroxide and lithium which is necessary for the battery cathodes i hope that you found this discussion the illustration and the links i provided informative and helpful also, I want to say thank you to my Patreons, Harder NL and Desi Doolin, for their research and help with the information and links for this discussion. 